Suspected squatters taking over this home in West Charlotte, adding no trespassing signs and a poor paint job on the garage. Incredibly disturbing, frustrating to say the least. But when police got there, they said there's nothing they can do. Tonight at 6, Channel 9 investigates squatters' rights versus the owners. The property manager says the people in today's case are the same suspects that Channel 9 told you about last night, accused of illegally moving into a multi-million dollar home owned by the mayor of Davidson and his family. Channel 9 has investigated similar cases and the challenges they create for police and prosecutors. Joe Bruno was in West Charlotte today as police explained to the property manager why they couldn't force the suspects out of that house. Joe. It's an incredibly frustrating situation, even hard to believe, but it's out of this property manager's hands. It's going to take a lengthy legal process for him to get his home back. If you did a double take looking at the botched paint jobs on the front door in the garage, the property owner wouldn't blame you. He didn't paint it, and the people who did never should have. Clear violation of HOA rules and regulations. Michael Moorings is the property manager for this West Charlotte home. He's been dealing with problematic tenants for months. He was astonished to see their mug shots on the news. Last night, we reported Termaine Thorne and Tequia Barber were arrested after claiming allegiance to the Morse Nation and squatting in a multi-million dollar home once owned by the late parents of the mayor of Davidson. Mooring says the two falsified documents to lease the West Charlotte property through a now defunct company. When his management company inherited the house, the two disregarded him, never paid rent. Their lease also expired. Incredibly disturbing, frustrating to say the least. Uh, and that they won't communicate with you. After seeing our report, a maintenance man was sent to change the locks. When he arrived, the worker noticed people inside the house. We got there a short time later, and then the police did. CMPD told Moorings they couldn't do anything about it. Real estate attorney Zach Moritz says officers' hands are tied in these situations. But if they, you know, they sort of dummy up a lease or something, or were there legally at some point, um, then they have a lease that, um, is going to have to go through the eviction process. While the police couldn't do anything, I wanted to see if I could have a word with the two. With the property owner, I knocked on the door twice, but no one answered. And Joe, that property owner is taking legal action. The case has been moving through the court system for several weeks, but when I spoke to the attorney, he told me that because of how many eviction cases there are in Mecklenburg and how easy it is to appeal, that those two could be in this home for up to six months, Allison. Wow, Joe, thank you for that report. If any of this sounds familiar, it's because Channel 9 followed a similar case back in 2015. A woman named Ninti Elbay moved into a home in the Piper Glen neighborhood. She also claimed she was part of the Moorish Nation. She she was eventually arrested and found guilty on six charges but avoided jail time. A Channel 9 investigation in 2017 found there could be hundreds of similar cases across the state. Experts told us in most cases, squatters target foreclosed homes now owned by banks. Banks can start the months-long process to get squatters evicted, but often the banks don't push it.